everyone. If you're new to my station, I am the Hebrew Widow, the Hebrew Rose of Jericho, coming at you with some judgment news. All praises to the Almighty, sublime, most magical one, the creator of all things and the master of the day of judgment. Yes, hallelujah, Father. Thank you so much. You good and your mercy endure forever. Hallelujah. And to our most beautiful mother, Marihala. The most beautiful one. Yes, that the most high adores. Marihala, a.k.a. The Holy Spirit, a.k.a. The Ruach HaKadosh. Yeah, introducing you to your mother if you never have witnessed her beauty if you're new to my station i am a magician for the most high and mother revealed herself to me on my search on google earth yeah my very magical journey where i have shown you one magical thing after another magical thing after another magical thing that are not illusions for all of you that have been following this very strange journey for a while, I want you to repeat this after me. All praises to the almighty, sublime, most magical one. By now we know that the father is the most magical one. Yes, he is, honey. Oh, wait. And he's showing us his magic. Yes, so now we discussed on the last video uh, how uh, in our in our uh, indictment in the courts of the Most High, yeah, when we were talking about our enemy to the Most High, I said they're, they're in the Titanic and they're going down and it's nothing that they can do about it. And then the very next day, we had that submersible to go down to the Titanic and just vanish, just, just disappear. They cannot find it, okay? And so when I uh, listen to all of my new magicians out there, I'm gonna give you a secret before we go back to what's happening and what the father is telling us because he had a great message in there. But last night, you know, I was just kind of tossing and turning. It was 12 o'clock, it was 1 o'clock, it was 2 o'clock. So I was guided. See, everything that happened with us now, if, if you get, if you know how we used to say, something told me, no, that's mother or your ancestors. Yeah, or the angels giving you direction. And so I was, I was guided to turn on the Emerald Tablets of Thought. So I'm listening to it. And I fall asleep. And then all of a sudden, I woke up right at the beginning of chapter two. And what I heard consciously, I knew my magic was going to increase just by listening to it. So if you want your magic to increase, I suggest that you go to the Emerald Tablets of Thoth. They have it on audio. And listen to chapter two. Okay. Okay. So now going back to this very magical message, the Most High is, is answering us. After we went to the courts of the Most High, he said, pay attention, my star seed. Yes, you are being heard. You are being heard. And, and I'm going to give you a great message. A great message. Yes, honey. So we're going to go back to that submarine because I must decode the message for you. And I'm sure a lot of you that have the gift to, to decode, you're going to hear and you're going to see a lot of messages. If you do, put it in the comment section. Yes, this great reset is going down in history, honey. And our little elite group, small in number, but mighty through the most high. Yes, he put the power back in our hand. What we say is going now because we're in the favor of the father and the mother who guided us into this great battle. Okay, you guys. So now let's go to 
that video. Okay, first of all, we must look at the price of this voyage that this submersible uh, to, to the ti Titanic, yeah. So, in order to join their missions, yeah, and they give them positions too, by the way, but you have to pay $250,000. To go to where the Titanic is yes and like I mentioned on the video before you know mother mother's talking to me believe me I'm not taking any credit when I when I'm downloaded and praying and talking to y'all this is mother talking through me okay and in that video I said they are in the Titanic they're going down and it's nothing they will be able to do about it now we see this submersible was filled with the elite. It was a billionaire on board. And this man here, I, I believe he was from Pakistan. He was a businessman. So we're talking about the wealthy, okay? We're talking about wealthy people down there and he was down there with his son. And then we have the other billionaire that's down there. Now these are people, let me tell you about people the elite the elite um, in order uh, for many of them I'm not accusing these right here of it I'm just talking about their station in life you know many of them were born with a silver spoon in their mouths yeah and and when, once they reach a certain level and have so much money and can buy the best of everything you know, they, they, you know, it's like a false sense of security. It's a false sense of security. So right now, they still haven't found them. And they're 13,000 feet down. And the only other rescue of a mission like this was 2,000 feet. Okay. So right now, we have five elite yeah, because um, we had an expert that I had already went down there and um, examined the Titanic. You know, he was an expert. You know, the other billionaire, he, he was in Jeff Bezos' rocket. Yeah, so he likes taking these adventures. It's, it's nothing these people can't have, but they have a false sense of security. Just like all of those that are elite in uh, this matrix. Yeah. They, they have a false sense of security. So now we have five of the elite in the depths of the sea. Somewhere by the Titanic, because that's the key word. That's the magical word. The powers that be on a high level that has kept the magic going are a sinking ship. They're the Titanic right now. They're about to go down. They're the Titanic right now. They're about to go down. And and more than likely, they're in darkness. You know, I was listening to one of the experts and they say, yeah, the water's blue and then it gets darker and darker and then you're going down into the depths where it's just blackness. And if their power is out, they're in total darkness at the bottom of the sea without communicating with anyone. And if they lost their power, they might have the oxygen. But where, where is the heat coming from? In those depths, it's freezing cold. And it's all kind of creatures down there. Yeah, so it's like they are in the belly of hell right now. Begging for forgiveness. Begging for mercy. And these are the elite. Okay? They're, they're begging the Most High right now. Yeah. Yeah. They're crying. They're miserable. They're worried to death. You know, some of them might be, you know, if they're rescued, some of them might have heart failure just from being in that cold, dark atmosphere at the depths of the sea in total hopelessness. I mean, that does happen. It's unfortunate that it happened with David Pogue. And uh, um, there's been no communication with the sub. So even if you're lost, there's usually communications back and forth. They are in 
the belly of hell right now. They're in the belly of hell in total darkness. So this is a great sign to our enemies, those of you who are watching this channel, that have been watching this channel. This is a warning. This is a warning. Everything that's happening right now, all of the disasters and the judgments happening on this earth, has everything to do with star seed. Okay? And we see over and over again that you just won't stop. This great war started with uh, Jonathan Greenblatt coming after Kyrie Irving. And since he couldn't pull it off and get Amazon to pull it down, you know, and make Kyrie Irving bow down, he failed. And then they made a trip, the 13 families, uh, the ADL with Jonathan Greenblatt and Kamala Harris's husband to spark up another uh, Jacob's Trouble. And uh, Doug Imhoff went all the way to the UN and some countries in Europe to try to get allies against us for words, you see. And our enemies have been exposed and, you know, we know that you watch, you know, you let the cat out the bag, that all of these federal agencies are watching us, Hebrew Israelites. You should be watching us now and I know that you follow my station and you know that what I'm saying is the truth. And that when we go to those that most holy place that the most high marked this earth for judgment, and we talk to him, you see the result. And so this was an instant answer to us that all of the, the matrix magic that has worked against us to keep us in this captivity is going down along with all of the matrix magicians and the witches and the warlocks. They are in so much trouble. All of the sense of security has been snatched away from them. Now, we see where the expert on finding, you know, these lost submarines is actually on board. He's not on the outside to help them look for it. Yeah. And with all of his expertise, he can't help. He can't help. He can't do it. And I'm sure he's crying out. I'm, I'm sure that he's the most helpless and hopeless one on board. Because he knows how deep they are. Now, <clears throat> that was the Most High's answer to us. That, this is the Most High's answer to us. He said, those that were exalted shall be abased. And they're down 13,000 feet below sea level. Yeah. The elite and they're crying and they're in misery they're in, in torment and then I heard another expert say when you get down that far that there's all kind of creatures at that death depth a lot of strange creatures yeah they caught some on camera you know they caught some of them and so <clears throat> Yeah, they're in horror right now, and so will our enemies be. They will cry uncle. They will do it. Yep, this is a hopeless situation, and the families are affected by this, and their friends, you know. You know, and they know that only the Most High God of Israel has the power. Yeah, with his servant Poseidon, they can bring him right on up to the top. If that be the Most High's will, you know, who knows? The Most High might uh, release them back to the top so that they can come and tell the world what a horror it was to be at the bottom of the ocean and how they repented for their sins and how they heard the voices talking to them. Yeah, if they repent it like that, you know, in total, total humility, the Most High may have mercy and let them come back and tell their story. Who knows? Who knows? Time. Time is not on their side. You heard that. We are at the brink, 
at the door of the Great Reset, honey. And the Matrix Magicians working for Hashitan. Hashitan had a certain amount of time to take us down. But like I told you, Star Seed United. Even before your awakening, because of your DNA, you know, all of us were attacked by the wicked one, the evil ones. Yeah, they recognized our lights. We were always on defense. And we never did evil for evil, at least most of the time. And when we faltered, it would just eat us up. That's because of your DNA. You passed the test, honey. And then after your awakening, you know, the Most High purified your heart. You did your spirit work. Yeah, and that's why our energy is so vitally important. And it's so powerful. It's very potent because we have the pure hearts. And we are being heard by the Most High God of Israel himself. Do you see it? Hallelujah. Our 400 years are up. And it's funny how they were 400 miles away from the coastline. You know, that's the Most High talking to us. He heard us, Israel. He heard us, Star Seed United. So we were praying about the magic that was used against us that kept us in captivity. Yeah, for 400 years. And so we prayed that the Most High would take their magic away and let them go down. Yeah, for, you know, they're, they're trying to pull all of this magic with these new laws and anti-Semitism and all of that kind of old crazy stuff. They think that they can form laws. That's how they've been magically controlling the population, you see. Well, it's not working any longer. It's not working. And so the Most High God of Israel, since we address the magicians of this matrix, and we addressed the witches and the warlocks that came against Star Seed over 400 years and want to continue their shenanigans. We brought them before the courts of the Most High and the Most High answered us with the Titanic incidents. Okay, they will go down. They're going to be powerless, helpless, hopeless in the depths of hell in a minute if they don't cry uncle okay so now listen <clears throat> we got the point on that one a very strong point not just to us star seed united and realizing our magic but also our enemies that's listening in yeah they know they know what we're talking about right now yeah and they're in shock too star seed united Congratulations, because you were appointed to be in those courts. It's like we're some kind of judges or something in this judgment day. You know, I don't quite understand it, but it seems as though the Most High appointed certain judges that will understand this magic. Yeah. And so the Most High, Marihala. Yeah, the mother. And Archangel Uriel guided me on this magical journey. And what you're looking at right now is from 2021 before Poseidon had left his portal. Yeah, Poseidon, the earth shaker. Yeah, and the other image, it looked like a white seahorse with wings. Yeah, and actually that's Pegasus, the god of horses. And we have wars and rumors of wars going on right now. And the Most High had all of this in his plan from the beginning of creation. And that's why all of these manifestations are appearing, verifying Judgment Day. So if you're listening to me out there, you know, this is a great war that we're in and it's all about the Hebrew Israelites. So many of you that have followed my station for a while, you know that I asked for the dream job in the kingdom to be an ambassador, right? And it seems as though I am an ambassador because... 
I have been used to connect us from the 3D to the 5D dimension. You know, and in this case, being an ambassador is, is warning of judgment. Now we're going to go to this area, which is in the same area, by the way, right by Pegas Pegasus's portal. We see a great fish. Okay, and maybe about a year or two ago, I did a message because this fish reminded me of the story of Jonah and the great fish. Well, hey, I'm not going to end up in the belly of the whale <laughs> or the belly of the fish. Excuse me, they said it was a great fish. And look at this fish. It's 6,000, over 6,000 feet in length. Yeah, so this fish reminded me of the great eclipse in Nineveh. And the prophet Jonah was ordered by the Most High God of Israel to preach to them and warn them of the judgment. There is always a warning before destruction. You know, that's just how the Most High rolls. You know, it's always a warning before destruction. And so, you know, I, I know a lot of my Hebrew Israelite brothers and sisters is like, you know, what you doing preaching repentance to them, you know, because we feel just like Jonah, we despise you for what you have done. You know, all of the evil that you did against us. And judgments were triggered because uh, those old wicked ones, you know, wanted to throw us back into a Jacob's trouble with their um, false accusations and slander of anti-Semitism. That's number one. And number two is the Stop Woke Act, you know, and that's all designed to keep us in captivity and it's not going to happen. And so the Most High is not negotiating. You know, he cast a judgment upon this earth and you know, there is a scripture that where Yahweh Shai say, when I come, I come as a thief in the night and if you're righteous, be righteous still. If you're holy, be holy still. If you're filthy, be filthy still. Yeah, so. You know, self-examine, self-examine. You know who you are. You know how you, if you're operating on a low vibration and you need to increase your vibration, you better be seeking out the most high because these judgments are coming. Now, another um, very important, significant sign is that it is the, the Titanic. Okay, because something happened with the sinking of the Titanic. All of this was to establish their money magic. Their money magic and they call things um, that happened that they want to keep on the hush hush or sweep under the rug. They call it a conspiracy. So let's, let's read a little bit about this because see this money magic kept us in captivity as well. And that magic over the money is soon to go down like the Titanic 2. Okay, so let's read about this quote-unquote conspiracy. Some conspiracy theorists believe that the Titanic was sunk on purpose to eliminate opposition to the creation of the Federal Reserve Bank, which is privately owned, by the way, it doesn't belong to the federal government. Some of the wealthiest men in the world were aboard the Titanic for her maiden voyage, several of whom include John Jacob Astor IV, Benjamin Guggenheim, and Isidore Strauss, were allegedly opposed to the creation of the U.S. Central Bank. No evidence of their opposition to Morgan centralized banking idea has been found. Astor and Guggenheim never spoke publicly, publicly on the subject, while Strauss spoke in favor of the concept. All three men died during the sinking. Conspiracy theorists suggest that J.P. Morgan, the 74-year-old financier, 
who set up the investment banking firm that still bears his name, arranged to have the men aboard the ship and then sunk it to eliminate them. Morgan, nicknamed the Napoleon of Wall Street, had helped create General Electric, U.S. Steel, and International Harvesters, and was credited with most almost single-handedly saving the U.S. banking system during the Panic of 2007. Morgan did have a hand in the creation of the Federal Reserve and owned the International Mercantile Marine, which owned the White Star, Star Line and thus the Titanic. Morgan, who had attended the Titanic's launching in, 2000, in, sorry, in 1911, had booked a personal suite aboard the ship with his own private promenade deck and a bath equipped with especially designed cigar holders who was reportedly booked on the ship's maiden voyage but instead canceled the trip and remained at the French resort of what is that actually Baines to enjoy his morning massages and so we had two sides here we had those that wanted to create uh, the Federal Reserve, see that's a lie right there, the Federal Reserve Bank, because it's, it, it's not owned by the federal government. You know, I just found this out in recent history that the Federal Reserve that have um, been authorized to print out our money and control our money is privately owned. And who runs it? Who's been running it? The Rothschilds, see? There we go, with the 13 families. And so they, they sunk the ship, according to this conspiracy, with their opposition on board, okay? Now we see where J.P. Morgan had his hand in General Electric, which uh, <laughs> Tesla had found a way for us to get free electricity. Yeah, and we see he got nowhere with that. And then when they found out that resource, what did they do? <laughs> yeah, we're still paying high electrical bills for free electricity. Um, he has his hand in U.S. Steel, which has to do with construction and cars and boats and such. And the International Harvesters, which is the farming industry. Okay, the farming industry and the International Mercantile Marines. He owned the White Star Line. And so he had the capability and the means of sinking the Titanic and covering his ass in a big way. The investment for covering his ass was nowhere near uh, the profits that he would continue uh, to gain and the power of controlling the money. And so the Most High is telling us here that he is going to take their money magic away. It's down. It's, it's, it can't be saved. It can't be saved. <laughs> you know, I heard this morning that on the vessel, they're starting to hear every half an hour banging, you know, because that's a signal to the military when someone, when the submarine is, is stuck, that they bang every 30 minutes for so long, like for a couple minutes or so, and they know that it's them. But then they have other issues if it's tangled and they bring them up from all that pressure and it's a hole that sinks they're going to implode you know and who has a who has a 13,000 foot cable available and then all of their help is is coming from the seas yeah and so everything moves slowly on the seas they can't rush by i seen where they, the, the 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 biggest thing that they did was drop those buoys from aircraft Time is against them and all of their help is slowly coming. Yeah. And and once they find them to get them out, it's just almost impossible. So this is what's gonna happen to the money magic. The money magic is gonna go down just like the Titanic. Okay. The money magic that they have ruled over us with for centuries. 
the economy, keeping us out of it when we actually built this country. <laughs> and then they treat us like dirt. Yeah, so the last shall be first and the first shall be last. Yeah, and just like on the Titanic, you know, I don't know the men that went down, but they are elite. Yeah, all elite people. I, I don't know if they're bad or good. I'm not the master of the day of judgment. Yeah, but there's certain signs that happen. I mean, it was the, the Pakistani businessman, an elite businessman. You know, he was a tycoon, they called him. So he probably had billions, too. He was on there with his son. So we're talking about birthrights. We're talking about DNA. We're talking about bloodlines here, okay, that are going to be affected. And even the, I believe the owner of the vessel is on board. And, you know, we have that billionaire on board that like to go on all his little adventures from Britain. Yeah. And then we have a French uh, adventurer. Yeah. And so it, it's like elite stuck at the Titanic. And this was a great sign from the Most High for us to pay attention to what's going on he's about to activate judgment and all of the magic that they used against us is going to be no more hallelujah and judah will reign just like the most high promised because they are elite the five passengers and it was an elite voyage they have the elite of elites the rescuers, the scientists, what are they? The oceanographers, they have the best of the best to go look for them. But there's no power in their hands. There's no power in their hands. So the only way out of it is to repent totally, you know, and that, that could possibly happen. They could possibly be rescued or the most high might have Poseidon to bring them to the surface to tell the world what they saw and what they heard while they were down there in their repentance in their pleading for mercy of the most high because that's the only one that can save them that's the only one that could save you from the judgments to come and so don't wait until you're in the belly of hell repent now yeah <laughs> and so that's my message for today you know, it's, it's not an enjoyable message for those under judgment. But then again, it's a very, very joyful message for the Hebrew Israelites. The message that the Most High is giving us and giving the world through what happened here is our victory. Hallelujah. So it's a fair, very sad day for the elite. But it's a very joyous, happy, empowering day for the tribes of Judah. We went to the courts of the Most High and the Most High answered us. How glorious. Hallelujah. That's what I have for you today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Thank you so much for your support of this station and your gifts of love. They're really appreciated. And may the Most High bless them 100-fold for whatever your hearts desire. Okay, you guys. Your big sister, the Hebrew widow, the Hebrew road, the Jericho out. Until the next magical show, Shalom!